What's up everybody and welcome back. I'm Joseph Fincham, you are you, and today we're continuing on the closet project. The idea today is to get the background in. It's going to fade from like a black to a dark blue to a dark purple and down into black again. That's the blocking in of the background and then I'll come back in in the next session. This will be two sessions in one. Um, the first session will be blocking in all of this color and the second session will be with the airbrush trying to get more of that cosmic space background look. That's what we're going for anyway. Um, this has been sitting here for about two months now because finding time to get into this project is very difficult. Um, since it's a big project and it's not in my studio, finding the time to get it done has been a little challenging. Um, as well as finding the inspiration to do it has been a little challenging because being that it's so big, you know, it's quite a large surface area. I'm having a lot of trouble getting the oomph to go ahead and do it, but today we're going to do it, so let's get into it. Let's go. Without cleaning the brush, I'm going to switch directly into the blue, and hopefully that'll give me a very dark blue. Um, if I have to, I will add some more black into it. I am using slow dry medium in this. I'm not a huge fan of it, because it tends to make, in my opinion, it makes the paint feel a bit sticky, if that makes sense.
Okay, so it's been a while, and the slow-dry medium that I added to the acrylic paints took a long time to dry. Um, I don't know if it's because I was using too much, but it did the same thing that, like, a big pile of acrylics or, you know, a big splash of oil colors will do where it dried on top and it got its flat look to it you know the gloss disappeared but if you touched it it was a little squishy even though it's not very thick so that was weird and it took longer to dry than I expected so now I'm back and I'm gonna continue on this as you can see this dried almost completely black and this area here didn't cover very well so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some more blue over the blue area more purple over the purple area and if it's not working enough I'm gonna add a tiny bit of white to it just to make it a little bit more opaque and a little bit more concentrated in the perception of the color I don't know you'll see what I mean as I do it I guess let's get into it
Okay, so it's time to add some highlights. Let's get into it. Okay, so here it is. I'm done. I hope you enjoyed this video of how I added extra closet space to my bedroom. You get it. So, this was painting, airbrushing, splattering. That's how I did this space scene, and it's looking great in my opinion. Um, it could be better, but it'll do. It is the background after all, not the focus. So, thank you all for watching. I really appreciate you all being here and taking the time out of your busy schedules to watch my videos. I hope you come back and watch the next one. Don't know when that'll be. It'll probably be a little shorter because now we're going to get into individual objects and I'll probably do one or two per video. Um, the first thing is going to be the planet up here in the corner. and maybe the black hole that's going to be here in the center so those are probably the two things that will be going in in the next video i hope you come back and watch it now the last thing i'm going to do is i'm going to peel off some of this tape here just to give you an example of what's going to happen so oh doesn't that look awesome this is going to be great okay I'll see you next time. Bye.